Hello, my subscribers. I'm back again with doing pen pal kits for a video for two of my blogs, my writing blog, and I guess my crafts blog would be a good idea. Now, how do you make a pen pal kit? Um, I've been pen paling since 1994, and <clears throat> this, I came up with the idea a month or so ago for at least one pal for sure, but I have a second box here for another pal yet to be determined. Um, now, I'm not trying not to name names in case they come across this video, but this is for one pal who only, you know, who writes using like the smaller paper that's like I call it half size paper because it's about half the size of a full sheet of printing paper. So, her, I have put in um, a pad and some other things, but before that, you know, if you want, you can also include instead of a pad and separate envelopes include just a stationary set, even if you make it yourself. Alright, this one is a different colors and it is also um if I remember right, yeah, hand it's handmade. And if you're gonna give it as a Christmas present, why not give it to them a few months earlier and give it to them with printed the holiday printer paper. This one is Happy Holidays and it's just the wreath, the holly, sorry, with the ribbon. And this one is a dove and it's got the border around it oh, and Peace on Earth at the bottom. And this is just plain, it looks more like a picture frame to me. So, but, and we got that for a dollar somewhere. No idea. I don't even remember where we got it. But I can use those for somebody who uses the bigger pages to write with. So, you know, this way you can have a way of personalizing it instead of just buying, if you have three to five pals, you know, instead of, you know, buying all the same things and stuff like that, you can buy, say, like, what I would call a base, like, for instance, I had bought the uh, package of these envelopes. I love owls. I don't know what it is with owls lately that I like, but I like owls, and these are so nice and colorful and cute. Um, so, this I put de decorative duct tape on the back. This I'm going to use as the gift tag, and then she can use it to put like whatever she wants in it like um for instance say either st stickers being as I wrote stamps on here she could put stickers in there or address her return address labels for now I got little die cut um surfboards that I bought a package of in the learning center um then, you know, you could, they could easily be put on an, you know, on a regular envelope and you could always write the person's name on it or use their address label if it's thin enough that came on your letter. Now, some, this I also bought because I wanted to put her, at least one of her initials on the cover as a sticker to cover this part being as it's, you know, a pretty, you know, solid color, and, you know, you got the nice stripes on there, but I, so far, I haven't had luck, um, but if, and I don't think this is big enough to cover it, or I should say the letter alone is too, it's not tall enough, so, sadly, and so I've got an address book for her in here. I included a few mini Valentine cards. 
Now, some of my basics that are going in in the pen pal caps, which I may also make for sale for on Etsy, I don't know, um, in case anybody else is interested in getting some, um, always include a pen. Now this pen is for Smashbucks, as one side has glue, and it's so new I can't even put it up yet. And the other side has the little, like, marker, where am I here, the little marker pen, that, like, the felt tip sort, um, a roll of washi tape, as I said, a, <clears throat> a pad of pa a pad of writing paper, and I included some envelopes of my own. As these don't come, the pad doesn't come with envelopes, which I think really sucks, but I also included a couple of post it pads and some stickers. These are the months, days, and some older years. These are just numbers alphabet stickers, um, a journal, um, I've also included a couple of happy birthday, uh, blank birthday cards, um, this is just a bookmark reading list, she can write down what she wants to read for the year, or what she has, um, also, to personalize it besides, you know, like, you could get different stickers for each person, um, or add different, you know, other items aside from, like, the journal, the pad, <clears throat> pen, and washi tape, um, why not, if they do crocheting, get them a new set of needles, they do make their own jewelry, why not get them maybe uh, some beads and some of the um, nylon, or which is well, or like fish, the the fishing line type of um, string. This is for measuring beads and that sort. It's called a bead caliper. Uh, it measures and metric and U.S. conversions. Gauge slides into place to tightly secure the item and give you a precise measurement. Um, now I gave, I also included some other envelopes for her of the owls, and she likes dragons, so I also included some Chinese New Year um, uh, money envelopes. Oops, sorry, and. This here I thought was so cute. I found it in a, in a Walmart somewhere. It looks like airmail envelopes, and it's a sticky pad, and it shows that you can fold it up to be enough to look like an envelope. What a shame that text messaging is around nowadays. I could have used that when I was in school. I also included, if for those who do craft, I'm including stencils. These are for when they write some winter letters. They can always just use a marker or spray paint or whatever they can think of. Um, and these are more like charms, but I guess you could use these more for scrapbooking. Some holiday candies. Oops, sorry. Holiday candies. And nautical themes. And I'm also including a a locket that I bought for her as well. Oops, it's backwards. <clears throat> Pardon me. And she could just put whatever she wants in there, a picture, or it feels like it's deep enough that if she wants, she could use it, like, if she has to take a pill every day or something. Um, those I will take care of cleaning up this mess later. 
Um, for mine, I also have put together my own, but it's of existing stuff I already had through the years to hopefully get rid of, to hopefully go through. Um, so I can hopefully finish it up. This is, this one isn't mine. This is just another version of that, but it's unfinished. I haven't decorated the inside or anything yet. Or, and if you look, it's a mess. So, I got all the same stuff. I got stickers. You know, like I said, have, like, a base of stuff that you buy. I have these in there, too. They go with the envelopes. You know, the washi tape. You know, like, certain things that are all the same. And this, plus also, this is a, seems to be a, a thinner box or I should say thinner depth of box. Um, this I have all the same stuff in as well because I bought the stuff together and I have um, enough for one more box. Um, and then I have a wider box which probably will cost me an arm and a leg to mail if I send it to someone who, you know, Use, who normally writes their letters with, the, you know, regular size paper. So, but, you know, it's a good idea, and you know what, honestly, cigar box, a buck. At one of the ones near me, there's like, as far as I know, just one specific cigar plate store that sells, that'll sell them. And, you know, even if you're not going to make ten pal kits, if you're going to send them something nice or whatever. Why use a regular cardboard box when they can reuse the cigar box for something and it's nice something nice and sturdy to mail. Some of them are lighter than others so you'd have to go through them and see. This one this one's mine and I love the way the color is. It's like a cherry or something there. Now, when I opened mine, I didn't do anything to this box because I don't know. I changed things over so much. I don't know if I'm going to leave. If I'm going to keep it. I've got fairly odd parents there. Because we're two halves of a whole idiot. So that's, that's my way of decorating it. So it's not permanent. The inside of... And then... You can also for your pals, if you have the program, make contact cards. You include your name and address, if you want your phone number, um, email address, and any of your like online presence, like if you have an Etsy shop, your Facebook, Twitter, um, if you have a blog. Um, also, your return, you know, you could also make them return address labels as well. Or include your own so that it's easier for them and they could just stick it to the envelopes. These are, I love dragons as well. And I love, so I put some of my old dragon paper in here. The ones that, you know, it doesn't matter to me if I, I use them. Of course, I have cooler looking ones set aside. Um, I have some stickers and odds and ends in here of my own. I wish I could find Kevin Harvick cards, but Matt Kenseth is cool enough, so I'll have to go with that. Now, you can also find, if you can, like a little, um, one of these, I, this I found in Staples, I forget how much it was, but, um, a little card holder for their contact cards. Um, and you could also make swap cards for them as well. Um, usually you just write like what group it is or just and what kind of swap and things like that or if you just saw them in a specific thing and what they liked. Um, some Hello Kitty stickers. Um, I've got seals in here somewhere. My own um, journal stickers. It's basically all of what I've already said. Um, return address labels. These are pretty much called seals, but they're stickers to close the envelopes. And who doesn't love... Oops. I'm sorry. I hope I 
sure do that. I'm trying to work around the camera. <laughs> and my arm doesn't reach far enough. Cute little kitty cat. And then we gotta dig back down here. I've got this some of this I'm sorry, some of this birthday paper and I love using the celebrate stamps on bir for birthday cards and things. Um, also, if you can afford it, include a, few, a sheet of for domestic mailing, sheet of stamps for you know domestic pals, or include a f you know a few of those and maybe a couple of um, ones in case they have overseas pals or f even family. Um, I have a cousin that lives over in New Zealand. Um, and I have plenty of pals over here as well as in Canada, so even if you put a mixture together of assorted stamps that they could use would be a good idea. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that... Like, I've got all envelopes and other stationery in here, stickers. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs> this is just, you know, some of my older letter writing items so we're good with that and I hope you enjoyed this video and I plan to make others give me some feedback what would you like to see know about um I do crafts or at least I sometimes do crafts and I do writing blog a writing blog entertainment blog Give me ideas. If I can, I'll make a video for it. Touch it catch you later. Have a good day. Bye.